I hope everyone's having a good weekend so far. In this video, I'm going to be going over my top setups for the upcoming week. The top stocks I'm personally watching, um, I'm going to kind of give you my thought process, how I'm looking to trade these. But as always, before we get started, be sure you subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button, and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. We have some very solid setups this week. I'm really liking the way the market is looking. We had an insane week at Team Bull. I hope you all watched the recap of the trades we took. I hope them are benefiting you all. Let's get right into this. First off, I'm watching the chip sector into next week. Some things caught my eye about this, but INTC is probably my favorite setup. And for those of you that trade with me, you know I love trading these gap fills on the daily time frame. And that's what we have here. I'm going to be looking to enter this trade above 36.6.7 area for some probably 37 calls. I may use uh, that week or maybe the week after's expiration for this trade. If it falls back below this level, I will simply get out for a very small loss. Now, you can see we have a gap from 36.62 all the way up to 39. I'm not going to hold my entire position until we fill this gap. I'm going to be trimming as we go up. And adjusting my stop loss accordingly we should hit a nice solid resistance around this 38.35 that's where the 20 sma is on a daily time frame but once we get into this gap with a good volume i do expect a decent move very small account friendly i do have a video that teaches you how to trade gaps probably my favorite setup of the week amd another chip stock I'm going to trade this a few different ways. First off, I'm looking for a bounce down here around this 92.27. Four calls, you can use 93, uh, 94, 95 strike. All of them should work well for this trade. That's a nice support area. I will let volume confirm this. Or we can take it for a break above this 94.8, 95 area, four calls. You can use a 95, 96 calls for this trade. The next uh, solid resistance I do see is up here around this 98.6 we have quite a bit of room above this 95 area but be sure you know how to take these type of trades anytime we tr take a breakout trade such as this it pays to be patient and maybe take it off the retest what you're looking for is a break of this resistance let it pull back to what now is a new support and watch volume and maybe take some calls off that pullback instead of taking the initial break NVIDIA, ticker NVDA, yes, so far, all chip sector stocks. I don't know, I just like what I see here. Same thing here, we got a nice bounce area around 170.9, 171 is a good bounce area. If we pull back, if not, I'll be looking to take it above this 182.5 area for calls. Again, we can always wait on that retest. Adds to the probability, I feel. Watch volume, I think we could see a move. I don't know if it would be this week. We could see, we got room up to 191.8. That would be my final price target on this trade, given that it has a nice move up. We'll just have to, you know, trim, adjust your stop loss, leave runners to catch additional gains. I imagine we'll have quite a bit of resistance around that 185 level, so I'll be out of most of my position by then. I will treat these as day trades. As far as swing trades go, the INTC looks more prime for a swing trade than any of these so far. Just be sure you know how to manage that type of trade. Final stock I'm watching for the week is Google, ticker G-O-O-G-L, alphabet rather. And I have an area. This is not exact numbers, but I like how we're trading in this range here on the daily time frame. We're coming back up towards this, I guess you would call it a supply zone. There's two different ways we could trade this. We could take it for calls above this 120 area, or we could wait for exits back out of this and take some puts for hopefully a move back down to this demand zone. So... I do see another trade here. There's three trade setups in this. Volume will confirm all of these. We could wait for a nice pullback here and we could take calls once we get back out of this area on good buying volume. Yes, this could be a swing trade. Again, be sure you know how to manage that type of trade. If you have any questions about any of these, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always here. Hopefully you all are inside Team Bull trading live with me. We had an insane week. I'm sure the people in the comments can tell you all about it. Walmart was definitely our stock of the week. But anyways, I try to keep these videos short and to the point. I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.